Come one, come all to the Common Sense Academy. Welcome my friends and family. Today we are going to take a look at a video of an individual who may or may not be a sovereign citizen. However, this guy is in it deep with the police and they are detaining him. He's got a problem with it. He's going to confront an officer and it is pretty hilarious and entertaining. I'm going to provide some commentary and break it down after the video. So stick around after the video. Thank you for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, where I cover legal news, legal topics, and the news in general. The link is at the top of the description below. Go ahead, click on it, subscribe, get me to a thousand subscribers. But for now, enjoy the Common Sense Academy. Before we watch this video, you know what time it is, friends and family, the same time sip. So grab your cup, your glass. I'm drinking out of this NYPD 9-11 Memorial Cup. If you haven't been to the 9-11 Memorial, go there. It's awesome and very respectful. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Delicious. All right, let's check out this video. How's it going? You said your name is uh, Sergeant Reynolds, right? Yes, sir. How so, can I help you, Mr. Williams? Sergeant Reynolds, so it is currently 12 noon. Alaska Christian time. We've been here since 11.23 Alaska Christian time, so for a total of 37 minutes. Um, I was given an order by Officer Perry. Um, yeah, so, to, so hold on, explain, hold on. I, I was given an order by that. Officer Perry that I had to stay put, and he, he said that under threat that if I left the premises, um, that he would then perform a traffic stop and arrest me. Um, however, I've been issued no warrant. Um, under signed oath by judge so um, waiting, that I have to stay that. put. We're waiting for that. We're I, I understand, but there's so. been no warrant issued for my arrest unto okay. me, but I'm being told that and I I'm have letting, to stay here. And I'm letting you know that I have a warrant for your arrest. You, you, there's so. been no warrant it, issued, though. I, I can serve it on you right now. I can put you in handcuffs. I can put you in the back of the car. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, if, I'm if stating for the route, fact of record. If you that, want to go to route, that route, Mr. Whisper Williams, we can do that, okay? Okay, so I now you're saying that you will arrest me for talking to you about the warrant. And, and what stage it's no, at. No, 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 no. You're, you're totally misunderstanding, okay? Okay. So, there's there's a lot of ways you can do things, okay? Yep. There's, there's, a, there's a really good way you can do things, and there's probably a way that you... Not so good way to do things, right? Mm -hmm. So, I just got done talking to Darden. I had a great conversation with Darden, okay? Yes. I would hope that you and I could have that same type of conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. It's really simple. Your warrant paperwork is on... It's in route here, okay? The officer who has it had to stop on another 911 call. I understand. That's if, what the delay is. But if you're going to remove someone's freedom of liberty of movement, then without the warrant actually being in your hand, no, no, then, you're, then you're I actually, then you're not. I don't need not, the warrant in my hand. If then you wanna, you're not if doing you the go process route, correctly. If you want to go that route, I can just have you turn around, I can put you in handcuffs, I can put you in the car, and I'll wait for the paperwork to okay. get here. I just, okay, I, I just wanted so, to get that on the record. So, your choice. Okay. Right. However you want to do it, I, I give that to you. Okay. Okay. I appreciate your time. Okay. Yes. So, do you have any other questions? No, thank you. Okay. If you want to wait in your car, you can do that. If you want to wait in my car, you can do that. But okay. in my car, it's going to be in handcuffs. But I cannot leave the premises. You cannot leave. I'm telling you, you cannot leave until I serve you that, that, that warrant. Understood. Okay? All right. The other way to handle this is I can take you down to the jail, book you into Anchorage Jail, and they can issue the paperwork there. That would be your other alternative. I understand all parameters. Very Thank good. you. Any other questions? I, I will remain on premises. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You know when a video starts with uh, the individual walking up to the officer and already knowing his name, you know it's going to be good, okay? He walks up. He says Sergeant Reynolds. He's already familiar with this officer. I thought it was kind of funny when the officer's like, 
Mr. Williams, he knows what's coming. He's rolling his eyes. He's already had a goofy interaction with this guy. Now, I don't want to knock this guy too much. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not he's a sovereign citizen. He does bring up a couple loony things that we're going to talk about. He's got some weird ideas in his head. He may be sovereign citizen, but he didn't go full sovereign citizen. This was more like a 10 or 15 miles per hour uh, on the pedal. So um, again, when the, when he says, the officer says, Mr. Williams, here we go. That's what goes through my mind. Okay. This guy brings up Alaska Christian time. Alaska Christian time. Somebody tell me what that is. Okay. What is Alaska Christian time? Very interesting. He's got his own time. So he probably is in his own sovereign citizen world. Now the, the officer here is telling him he needs to stay put okay and this guy starts getting into the warrant stuff you needed a, a warrant signed under oath by a judge okay in order to remove someone's liberty all right and the officer here is saying well there's a warrant on the way there's a warrant on the way uh, here's the thing the police can detain with simply probable cause police can detain with just probable cause police can arrest with just probable cause what's probable cause Okay, it, uh, what probable cause does not require a warrant, all right? Uh, the police don't need a warrant for every single little thing that they do. If they did, they would have almost no power at all. And they certainly would have a hard, uh, they would not be able to stop crimes while they're actually occurring, okay? Because you can only get a warrant after the fact. So the police can detain someone and take away their freedom of movement and liberty without a warrant. They do need probable cause. What's probable cause? Well, they got it's simply just a couple of facts that support the possibility that a crime is occurring or has occurred. That's it. So if this guy was doing something illegal, all right, it could even been some sort of traffic stop, maybe a DUI, driving under the influence. I don't know what it was. We missed that out on the video. Then, <clears throat> then this officer can detain him. Now he tells, he tells Mr. Williams that he was nice enough to allow him to sit in his vehicle. The officer doesn't have to do that. He doesn't have to let this guy sit in his vehicle. Okay, a, you know, he can put him in the back seat of his car. He could have already handcuffed him and taken him to jail. Listen, police can handcuff you and take you to jail for a summary, a very low level offense, like a speeding ticket. All right. So he's giving this cop a hard time and the cops like the warrants on the way, the paperwork's on the way. And, and when he's talking about a warrant, I'm not really sure. It, it most likely, because if the police are going to arrest someone, they're just going to do it. Okay, so most likely what's coming is his citation and or his summons that will list the crimes he's accused of and then he'll be served with the paperwork. That's why the officer's keeping him there. So the officer can serve him with the paperwork and his future court date, okay? And he'll have to respond to that paperwork. If that paperwork um, <clears throat> isn't issued, I'm sorry, isn't responded to, then the judge can issue a warrant for his arrest and then they'll go and actually pick this guy up. Um, so, it, it, you know, the, the final part that I have on this is this guy at the end, and this is why I can't knock him too much. He goes, I understand all parameters. And what went through my mind when he said that was, um, I don't know how many of you are Star Trek fans, is the prime directive. I understand the prime directive, number one. Or, okay, so it was like, uh, <laughs> that's what went through my mind. And you could sort of tell by the way this guy talks, uh, you know, <clears throat> Alaskan Christian time. Uh, I need a warrant signed under oath by a judge. I understand all parameters. I will remain on the premises. He's using this legal jargon, right? I remain on the premises. That's like a legal word. Most people don't use premises day in and day out, okay? Um, <clears throat> so he probably is, or at least a little bit educated, on the sovereign citizen stuff. But I really got a kick out of Alaska Christian time. I want to know what that is, all right? I didn't know, I knew sovereigns were living in their own world. I didn't know they had their own time as well. 
So thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, where I cover legal news and news of the day. You can find a link to the channel in the description below. Click on it, subscribe, trying to get to 1,000 there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. Joe the Lawyer out.